Keep your heads up and your arms covered, beautiful family in Jesus Christ. Time's flying and we're about to too. And you're not going to want to miss any of this video. It's packed. It's stacked. And it's all for the glory of our Father in the name above every name, Jesus Christ. So let's go. Here's the verse of the day. Matthew 24, 44. Therefore be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not the Son of Man cometh. Like right now, if you're sleeping, wake up. Now on to the signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars, right where Jesus Christ said they would be and they are. So that's where we're watching. And you can see the sunspots right now today. And sunspot 3422 is earth facing. And when you go to Strong's Bible Concordance for 3422, the number of the sunspot that's earth facing, the definition is a memorial. But here's what's gigantic, 3422 in Hebrew is greenish, pale green. Like the pale horse, the first horseman of the apocalypse. But that's nothing compared to what I'm about to show you that Jesus Christ is showing us. And if you remember in one of my previous videos, recent videos, I went over sunspot 3414. And if you remember, it was right when he was showing me that this comet, Nishimura, was loosening the bands of Orion. In 3414, the definition is, Yah loosens. And right after that, if you remember, our brother Daniel Taylor, all glory to our fathers, showed us 3413. And it came in right after 3414. And I showed you, the definition is, Michael, the archangel, and this is why I labeled the video, the war in heaven has begun. Because as you can see right here, the sun just ripped off a comet's tail. Guess what comet? The dragon, Nishimura. And when you scroll down, you can see right there, I highlighted it for you. The CME that hit comet Nishimura probably came from active sunspot AR3413. Michael, the archangel. He just fired a shot at the dragon and ripped off half of its tail. And as you can see right there, it says, Comet Nishimura is plunging toward the sun for a close encounter on September 17th. The war in heaven has begun. And again, I'm not saying any rapture date. I'm not even trying to find the rapture date. I'm very comfortable and very happy with what he's showing us. But I want to remind you that on the last day of summer, that's when the comet, and I showed you all glory to our father, that's when it comes out of the woman. And what I'm about to show you is probably the biggest sign we've ever seen. It's probably bigger than child. And if not, it's neck and neck. And all glory to our father, he didn't even show me. He showed our brother Dennis. Right after Dennis came out of a 40-hour fast, family, and the word is true. When you fast in secret, our Father rewards you openly. And I'm not saying this is the rapture, but if it is, this will be the biggest sign of all. And it's Strong's 792, Aztec. Definition, a star. But not just any star. The star that the wise men followed. And when you scroll down, it's right here. The star betokening his birth, Matthew 2.2, 2, the star of the Messiah. Matthew 2.2 2 is the first concordance, for we saw his star in the east. The exact time the star appeared, when they saw the Aztec, they rejoiced exceedingly with great joy, and the stars will fall. But it gets way more gigantinormous. Are you ready for this, family? And I actually put this in the last video. And I was led to chop it and cut it out and do the video on it today. Because while I was editing, Jesus Christ reminded me something. And what he reminded me was that the beehive cluster was originally named the manger, precipe, or crib. Well, the wise men, when they followed the star, Aztec, it led them right to the manger with baby Jesus Christ in it. And there it is right there, right now, Aztec, 
right underneath what they call Thalia. And Thalia biblically means do of God. And as you go through the days, family, this is so gigantinormous. Could be the biggest sign he's ever showed us. Because the wise men followed the Aztec straight to Jesus in the manger. And the manger is Precipe. And as you go through the days, you can see it approaching Precipe on the expected Feast of Trumpets Day. It's right there. And I'll zoom in. And when you keep going through the days... And you get to the 21st, and I'll zoom in some more. When you go through the hours, you can see that it crosses the line on the 22nd, the last day of summer. It goes into the manger, Aztec, the star that the wise men followed, Matthew 2, 2. And I got the Holy Spirit all over me, praise you, Father. And when you go through the days, you can see this star comes out of the manger on the 25th. But let me remind you and back this up because after they found Aztec that led them to Jesus Christ in the manger, they stopped following the star because they had found Jesus Christ. And they call that day Epiphany Day. And you know what an epiphany is, right, family? If not, look it up. Because on that day, when the wise men visit baby Jesus, they say it was the same day that Jesus was baptized by John the Baptist. All you have to do is search what is the meaning of epiphany day. And as you can see right there on the left side, there's a sunspot 3423 and a sunspot 3424. And this is gigantinormous too. As we're approaching the Feast of Trumpets, from my calculations, and I've been doing this a long time, all glory to our Father, these will be the sunspots popping up when the Feast of Trumpets and the sign and the summit and all this goes down. And remember, I just showed you the highest sunspot right now is 3424. And 10 sunspots ahead is 3434, Strong's Hebrew. People will return. 3437, he will return. And sunspot 3439 could arrive when the Revelation 12 sign happens on September 19th. And Strong's 3439 is only born, soul, only begotten, child. And I just looked, family, and I have 386 emails. And most of them are requesting the Rapture Revelation 12 postcard, the flyer. They're five by seven inches. And I said that I would send out a hundred, 250 packages, the first come, first serve, first requested, first serve. But I had no idea that I would have this many requests. So I'm thinking since it's crunch time and it looks like this month is our departure, if we ship 50 per package, we can ship 500 packages. And if we only have a week or two, 50 postcards should be enough for you guys to hand out. All glory to our Father. And there is a bunch of emails asking for the t-shirt and I don't have any t-shirts, family. I'm sorry for the misunderstanding. I was holding the flyer up against my shirt. But God is good. So I reached out to our sister this morning and I told her about the t-shirts and she's getting a quote for me. But t-shirts are very expensive. So if God provides, I will try to pump them out. And if I do the t-shirts, I'm just going to put the rapture side of the flyer on the t-shirts. So I will save all of the emails that are requesting t-shirts. And if we have time and we're still here, we'll try our best to ship them out, family. And so many signs are coming in from so many of you brothers and sisters, and I love you all, and I wish I could get them all out. Even the one that I just went over today, Aztec, in the manger, there is so much more to it. I just don't have the time, family. I haven't even been able to eat lately. I'm barely eating. But that's all right. 
Because when the flesh is weak, the spirit is strong. And just a reminder, you can search Aster, Bible meaning, and star pops up. Matthew 2, 2, whatever it was, the star, was definitely a miraculous origin. It was no ordinary physical star. For instance, it had the ability to move. Matthew writes, the star went before them till it came and stood over where the young child was. And I showed you the star that the wise men called Aster is moving into what they call the manger, the crib, right where they found baby Jesus Christ in the manger. Put it together, family. We're going home. He's coming immediately. And I'll wrap it up with Amos 3, 7. Surely the Lord God will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. I love you, family. But the Spirit of the Lord says, there shall be a sign that I will send to you, says the Spirit. There will be a sign in the heavens. It will look and it shall be likened unto a woman that is about to give birth and she is in labor. For God said there shall be a sign. But even in the book of Revelation, even as I said, there was a sign in the heavens. So in this nation, I shall bring a sign in the heavens. And it shall look as if it is a woman. It shall be as a woman that is in labor and about to give birth, says the Spirit of God, to a son. For God said there is a birth taking place. And America is suffering the labor pains. America is suffering the last hours before the birth of this child. Did you not know that during your labor, did you not know during your pain that there would be something birthed, says the Spirit of the living God. It's about to be born. It's about to be born for this nation. A move of my spirit that shall shake the church, that shall shake, shake the gates of the cities, that will shake the gates of the cities. Listen to the word of the Lord. It's about to be born. Your travail must come to an end, says the Lord. Pray, 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 pray.